releasing this video, even though I actually changed my mind on putting this couch up in the front of the bus. It's neat to see how I was originally planning the thing, but the way it ended up was that I decided on making an elevating bed platform, under which I would not only put this couch and its underside storage, but also my desk and recording studio. This would all go into the back of the bus, just behind the shower and bathroom. These have yet to be made in this video, but they're coming up shortly. I'll more than likely also use this back area as a lounge, where I can use my large monitor for playing PS4 or throwing on a movie. In many of the builds that I've seen in the past, people are using their couches as not only slide out beds, but also storage. I was originally thinking that I would put my battery bank in there and centralize my electrical connections. The thinking behind not putting them outside was geared toward theft prevention and also having uh, the convenience of being able to maintain and check the batteries in the event that you know any of that emergency stuff is needed. As a first time solar installer, I also wanted quick access to them in the event that something overheated and I need to hit it with a fire extinguisher. If they were outside, I would not only not know about the fire as quickly, but I also wouldn't be able to react as quickly. For now, however, I've actually decided to put the batteries in a diamond-plated truck box, which is secure in that it is fully enclosed, it's welded, it's got a nice steel outer uh, shell, uh, and, and it's enclosed with a key. It's also very easy to mount, it's easy to pop holes in it and ventilate it, and I'll only have to cut out a single panel of the sidewall to gain access to it. So this option outweighs the benefit of the O4. I'll be pursuing construction on that option when the time comes. If you've been keeping up on the build from my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash thetravelgeek, you'll know that the time to do that construction is right about now. That's all for this video. Stay tuned and I'll be updating the entire build as it happens. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If so, be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Construction on the tiny home is actually complete. So visit kyleodonnell.com slash blog to binge watch the build. You'll not only read my personal journals during construction, you'll also see videos covering everything from solar installation and transforming bedrooms to wiring your electronics and off-grid plumbing.